begin at 6 with a developing story. A mother is shot in Fort Lauderdale, and police say a child pulled the trigger. Let's get right to it. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live on the scene tonight with how that mother is doing. Joan? And Diane and Elliot, we do not know the age of the child that fired that gun or what their status is tonight. They appear, apparently did not even know what had happened. It all happened in this parking lot about 2 o'clock this afternoon. We're just a few feet from the parking space where it all unfolded. The good news tonight is that mother is going to be all right. Why would they keep a gun around like that? You know, you got to keep that secure. From Chopper 4, police could be seen questioning a distressed dad about the shooting, huddled with his two small children in a corner of the Walmart shopping plaza off Broward Boulevard, west of 95. I don't think the kids really know what they were doing because the kids didn't seem puzzled by it or anything. They were just out here playing. According to Fort Lauderdale police, one of the kids got a hold of a gun in the car and accidentally shot the mother. I looked out the window and saw a woman lying next to the vehicle. This man was working in the plaza when he heard a disturbance. He came out to find the woman lying on her back next to the car. Allegedly, her husband was in there cashing a check, so it, it drew some people out. He supposedly came running out, so just and a commotion. A gunshot to the leg. Uh, one of the officers that I talked to said it, it looked like she would be okay. Police say the woman is in stable condition and they are talking to dad, piecing together what happened. It's really tragic that something like that would happen, you know, that you just got to be more aware of, you know, you know, you just, it's just sad, you know, I have a baby. I couldn't imagine something happening, you know, to my fiance or my baby, you know. The car was towed from the plaza, and the gun in question is now evidence. So the dad was allowed to go to the hospital with the children. Again, that woman is in Broward Health Medical Center in stable condition. We do not know whether Department of Children and Families was called in this incident, and police are just beginning their investigation. In Fort Lauderdale tonight, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News. Okay, Joan, thank you very much.